Hey, this is Joe Price. I'm the director of the BYU Record Linking Lab, and I just wanted to express my gratitude for all the amazing work that you've been doing on this project. We've loved working with you. This has truly been a miracle, uh, and I've just been blown away. Uh, as a group, uh, you were able to attach um, the record hints to about half a million families in December, and it's just been so great to see the kind of impact you can have on helping people uh, learn more about their family by uh, there's the family tree and growing out the family tree. We created a new button that has hints that are just slightly harder. And the thing we want to emphasize, though, is when you hit the ones that are slightly harder, you can always skip them. Uh, these are all hints that Family Search has um, rated as 98% or better, or actually it's a match score of 98. Um, but sometimes it's hard to tell if it's a match. And so if you're uncertain, just skip them. Uh, we'll be working through these hints and we'll have other people that can help us with any of the ones you hit. We'd really like you to go after all the low hanging fruit. So let me just show you some examples of these. Uh, so you can start to feel uh, comfortable taking a look at some of those harder cases. And even if you don't decide to do it now, I think you'll start to get practice for thinking about when, uh, when you should do those harder tasks. So let me share my screen so you can kind of see an example. So here's the new button. So again, I'll be doing this on my computer, but it's the same on your phone that when you click the button, it opens up a hint. And here we are in Source Linker. And again, you can always look at details to see some of the um, information. But right away, this one's a fantastic hint. You can actually see right here that the name is a great match. Born in July, 1895, July, 1895. You can see in 1900, he was living in Overton. And then over here, he was born in Overton. So this is a fantastic match. So in this case, we would hit compare, add, and attach, and we would do that for each um, person in the. So notice that this hint was almost exactly like the hints you've been doing before. And in fact, many of these hints will be very similar to ones that you've done before. Now, a nice thing is if you do have access to a computer, one cool thing is you can actually open up multiple tabs. So you don't have to wait for it to load. On a phone, this isn't possible, but um, I just wanted to show you how that works. Now, this was a harder one. And so, again, if you looked at this and you're like, oh, this one looks more complicated, you're, you're absolutely welcome to skip it. So this would be one you could definitely skip. But I want you to see that if you dig in a little bit, you can see that this is a fantastic match. You can see East Orange, East Orange, all the names are lining up. Notice the birth years are off a little bit. You'll, you'll see that will happen. Um, but yeah, this is a great match. And then actually, this is an interesting case where if we look here, you can see that Laura and Lori are probably the same person. But again, uh, if you're not sure about that, uh, don't you don't have to do that. But let me just show you then as I add these. Now, the cool thing is now we have a father. And then the thing I most thing I want to warn you about is if this this like button never pops up, I would just stop. And, and just go to the next hint. We can, we will have people handle these. These This is probably the hardest step, okay? So in this case, I'm just gonna hit cancel and I'm just gonna close my window and just leave it there for someone else to help with. Let me just show you some other examples. So this again is a great example where we have a really easy match. And notice here, the great thing is we're getting to add a new person to the tree. Okay, so before it was just Julie and em Emma on the tree, and now their father is with them. Okay, okay so this again is another uh, maybe more challenging one. Uh, and so we kind of look in there. You can see that the city is a match. The name is a match. The birth year is off a little bit. You can see up here, the state is a match. The birth year is the same. Up here, the birth year is off a lot in Ireland. So if you didn't feel comfortable with this one, then you would just skip it. And that's totally fine. Um, this one is, in fact, a good match, though it's harder to tell. And so in this case, then I would work my way through it. But at this point, we would love it if you just skip the ones that you're not sure about. Though we're excited about having you kind of learn better about when it is a match. The thing that made this a match is that we had so many different people lining up really well. And so even though some of the individuals differed a little bit, really the, the, the family snapped together. And then the great thing about this hint is that I could then uh, add these children. Now, this is where it gets tricky, where right here, I'm about to add this person and it says there's a possible match. So remember, at this step, we're just going to stop linking and then we'll just close it and leave that for someone else to handle. 
because again, that's probably the hardest thing that we'll run into. Okay, you can see here we see Lebanon, Lebanon, the names are lining up really well. So I'll do that one in just a second. This one also looks pretty good. And in fact, it's gonna let me add a lot of people. So here we go. And then I add the child. And then that was great because I got to add a new person. Okay, so I'll come back and finish that one. I just wanted to see if maybe a possible duplicate showed up. So remember if ever a possible match shows up on your screen, then just uh, stop. Okay, this one again looks fantastic. You can see lots of names lining up really well. And then this one also looks really fantastic. I wanted to show you some that you, you should definitely skip. So look at this case where on the right, what we have is James and Delia, but we don't have any birth info for James and Delia. Now this one's still very likely a match, but we'd like you to skip these for now. What happened here is these people are on the tree using a marriage record. And then over here we have um, likely the same family in a census record. So we'll have other people handle those. And then here's another case where you might wanna skip is notice we have Fanny. She doesn't seem to match with any of the kids, but it's kind of a tight squeeze. So uh, this would probably be another one that we'd want to uh, skip. So I just want to um, say just how thankful I am for all the work you're doing and the amazing impact that you're having. Uh, I'm sure I went too fast in these instructions. And so we'll be creating videos where we go through this more slowly, but I just wanted to highlight the fact that right now, what we want you to do is do the ones that look like the ones you've been doing before that are pretty easy, like it's almost always a match. And then if you see ones that you're not sure about, let's just skip them. Um, when you skip them, they'll still be done. They'll just be done by another group that is helping us. Um, but yeah, we're really excited for all the um, things that you're learning through this project. And we hope you're having a great experience. And we're, we're really excited to work with you and to see what's possible uh, through this type of approach.